and today I'm going to show you how to install Xperia G2 custom ROM on your Xperia U. So first of all what you need to do is download flash tools to your PC. The links will be in the description and after that you go ahead and extract it and open the version of flash tool that is supported I mean 64 bit or 32 bit. After, after that you need to go to your custom room and extract the kernel or the boot image so that you can flash it using flash tool on your device so just look for boot.img and extract it to the folder wherever you wish and then you go to flash tool you have to click on the flash icon it will give you two options flash mode or fast boot mode select the fast boot mode and then it will say device status not found just no worry now we are going to connect the device so for connecting the device make sure you hold the volume up key while you plug in the usb cable so hold the volume up key and plug in the usb cable when you do that you will get the left blue led glowing on your device now you need to choose the option select kernel to flash and it will ask you to choose the kernel image wherever it's situated so make sure you go to the folder where you extracted it and look for the boot.img file when you do that it will be a quick installation just one or two seconds and it will show you the message flash operation complete that means the kernel is successfully flashed and you can close the flash tool because now we are done with the work for PC. Now take your phone and plug out the USB cable. Give it a few seconds so that uh, you can make sure everything is alright. Yep and then turn it on. When you turn it on keep pressing the volume up key repeatedly so that you can enter the, the recovery mode. This was this ROM includes PWRP recovery not CWM so it might be a bit different let me turn down the brightness so that it's visible enough now we need to do a data wipe or a factory reset don't go to advanced wipe option just straight away factory reset the device Then when the factory reset is done, you just go back to your home screen. And there, select the install button, and then choose your file, the ROM file. Just go ahead and flash it, and wait till the time flash is done. Now the flash is done, and we'll reboot the system. You don't need to go to home or wipe cache or delve the cache. We just need to reboot the system. This time, press any keys because we want the phone to start normally. And let's see if it boots up. The first boot may take time because it's the first time the ROM is running. It needs to do a few setup setting things and all. So it will take time for the first reboot. And if you want, you can skip the boot animation by clicking on the button at the right, and it will just skip the video. To the part where the boot animation is done. The boot animation can take few minutes but not more than four or five minutes. If it's taking more than that then you are stuck in a boot loop. Boot loop is a condition where the either the custom ROM is not flashed properly or maybe your device is low on storage but that's why I do a data wipe so that you can make sure uh, the device is not low on storage space we can store the custom ROM and if it's successfully flashed then it will boot up in a few minutes maybe one two or three minutes even but not more if it's not done if you stuck, get stuck in a boot loop then make sure you repeat the procedure switch off your device fast boot it with the kernel and flash the ROM again 
make sure the room file is correct and you follow the steps the same way as I said and if you follow it correctly it will probably boot up in a few minutes and I guess mine is gonna boot up to you know well so let's see yep it's done now you are having your experience Z2 experience on your device so thanks for watching bye guys